Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Mel, Regional Sales Manager for Gallagher Fluid Seals, and welcome to our fourth installment of our Surface Finish webinar series. In this segment, we will be discussing filtering, and we'll talk about cutoff lengths, surface profiles, and profile lengths. When we filter, we are essentially separating the roughness and waviness profiles from a measured surface profile. Now, let's turn our attention to the cutoff length or cutoff filter, which is used to differentiate surface irregularity wavelengths as either roughness or waviness data on a measured primary profile. Applying this high pass or low pass filter to the primary profile eliminates wavelengths above or below a specific frequency. As you can see in the below graph, the intersection between roughness and waviness components is the applicable cutoff value, or lambda c. At this intersection, the wavelength amplitude is both imparted and reduced to 50% at the cutoff value. Since a measured surface will demonstrate a spectrum of wavelengths for both roughness and waviness, the cutoff value should be carefully specified in order to separate the two spectrums without distortion and the surface texture component of interest can be characterized. For roughness, we analyze the wavelengths between an upper and lower cutoff known as lambda s and lambda c, which excludes the long wavelength waviness component from the primary profile. For reference, there are internationally recognized cutoff filters of varying lengths 0 0.08 millimeters, 0.25 millimeters, 0.8 millimeters, 2.5 millimeters, and 8 millimeters. Next, there are a few surface profile definitions for us to discuss. The first is the measured profile, which is the profile resulting from scanning the surface with a stylus tip. The data from this profile has been mechanically filtered based on the stylus tip radius and, if applicable, the skid of the profilometer. The primary profile results from filtering the measured profile with cutoff wavelength lambda s. Applying this low pass filter removes the extremely short wavelength components of the profile not considered roughness data. The roughness profile is generated by filtering the primary profile with cutoff wavelength lambda c. Applying this high pass filter removes the long wavelength components of the profile considered waviness data. The roughness profile, as seen in the below depiction, is the profile we are most interested in with respect to characterizing a surface that directly correlates to seal performance. Also seen in the below image is the mean line that is established once appropriate upper and lower cutoff filters have been applied to the measured profile and is the flat reference line from which the profile deviations are quantified. In the first animation, you can see that our measured profile contains both long wavelength waviness and short wavelength roughness components. The next animation portrays the filtered waviness profile from our measured profile. The final animation depicts the filtered roughness profile from our measured profile. Finally, let's review the different profile lengths. The traversing length, or tracing length, is the overall length traveled by the stylus when tracing the surface profile. Included in this overall length is the evaluation length and pre and post travel, which is considered the startup and runoff lengths. The evaluation length, or assessment length, is the portion of the traversing length from which the roughness data is collected. 
As a standard practice, the evaluation length is set to five times the sampling length. However, it may consist of any number of sampling lengths. Lastly, the sampling length is the fixed length within the evaluation length from which the surface irregularities are characterized. The sampling length is usually defined as the cutoff length of the filter used to separate roughness and waviness. To summarize, with the use of high pass and low pass cutoff filters, we isolate specific wavelength frequencies which allows us to segregate the roughness and waviness profiles from a measured surface profile. Only once we have properly isolated the roughness values can we accurately characterize a surface for its suitability in a sealing application. There are internationally recognized cutoff filters of varying lengths. 0 0.08 millimeters, 0.25 millimeters, 0.8 millimeters, 2.5 millimeters, and 8 millimeters. We then define the measured profile and mean line, as well as highlighted the filtering differences between the primary profile and roughness profile. In the closing section of this webinar, we reviewed the sampling and evaluation profile lengths, which exist within the overall traversing or tracing length. Please join us for our next webinar in which we will discuss a variety of amplitude parameters. Take care, be safe, and thank you for your time.